Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Blockhead. So if you guys are excited for this video, in this video I want to be able to kind of jump into that push I've been seeing in the blockchain space to give artists a voice. There's been many applications out there that give visual artists, music artists, and you know dancers a voice in the blockchain space, able to show off their creativity, show off their skills to the world. I want to be a part of that. I think it's very beautiful. I think be able to monetize artists and empower them to create whatever they want is such an amazing thing. I'm going to be making an application that's going to give artists the power to be able to express themselves on the open web in the blockchain space powered by the near blockchain. Hope you guys are excited. I am. And at that, I say let's just jump right into the video. Something very blissful about the uh, create in your app step, be able to create and you know formulate a new application. Uh, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because we'll be using a Rust contract this time, and I haven't you know done a uh, Rust contract before, so it's be a fun very first step in doing that. So create near app. Really excited to flex my Rust skills, or if I have any. Let's see. <laughs> Rust project name is Block Bob. Let's see invalid version. Undefined. So what I'm going to do first is clear out all of the all the uh, default code that you find in this app.js folder. And I feel this hat this hat's going to come on and off like probably throughout the course of the video. Right now I'm not feeling it. <laughs> come on. Let's get React Bootstrap. Let's go to get started. Copy this. Throw it into our terminal to install React Bootstrap. Oh no and source we're going to create a new folder called SASS and a new file called app.scss. Inside this file, we're just going to paste this here and save it, copy this over into your app.js file and import that um, SCSS file we just created. Import dot slash sass slash there are three signs that signal the approach of the hash-slinging slasher. First, the lights will flicker on and off. Next. Dude, can I have some ketchup? Oh, here you go. Next. App.scss. So hit save. After this, we're going to test this out by importing it the navbar, since that's typically the first thing I always, always begin with. Navbar, navbar, great. Let's copy you over and just paste you in right here. Neat. So we're gonna have to import all of this stuff. It's um, officially week, week one, day three of no coffee for me. So it's been just straight up tea for, for you know, like what, 10 days? <laughs> Needless to say, I can feel, I can feel, I feel the, the need for coffee. It looks like I didn't import something properly, so let's see what happened. One control. Great. Let's just destroy everything. Destroy everything. Put body, body, yaddy, yaddy. I'm mixing up languages right now. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we have our navbar, we have pricing, search, and the uh, search feature, which means we have our React Bootstrap uh, nice and set up. Yeah, let's just move on to the next step. So my next step is I'm going to take this entire return statement um, and like house it all, or wrap it all in this container. And I'm going to also import, uh, what's the other thing, React Routes. Uh, this will allow me to navigate through different pages for um, my React app. See, the question is, is how do I install it? I could do something like 30 times over and I always end up forgetting how to do it. So I have to like go read the, um, the documentation each and every time. There we go. Um, cool. Let's see, I'm gonna go off and set this up and get the React Router page set up and begin building out the login page after that. This is my first time building out a Rust contract. So I do recognize some of this stuff from the new documentation. So these essentially allow um, non-Rust code to work within this Rust contract environment. This exposes the environment variable, which lets you talk to the near blockchain. Because like something I do, actually need to do right now is like set memory of who has previously logged into this application, has previously used it, uh, and then be able to retrieve those account names. Anyway, so that's kind of where I am with this like Rust contract. Okay, so it looks like what we have here is a struct uh, that says welcome. Uh, inside the struct, you have this like, uh, I guess, property or field called records, uh, which calls hash map. 
Um, again, hash map is just the key value pair. They're making string pairs. <laughs> So essentially, we'll be able to store the Twitch names, the usernames, and listens records. So I'll keep going and see if these like string things will give me an error or not. Wow, my hair looks insane. Whatever, I'm going with it. So if you remember my like Overwatch application, it kind of has some similar thing where I would log in uh, and I would check my login status. And you say, effectively see if I had an account with this application or not. Uh -oh. There we are. Nav dot think. Okay, that looks good. Let's see, so we have check login status. If it is logged in, we're gonna go here. If not, I'm trying to remember how you even do this. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, let's log in to our near wallet. We're gonna log in as blockhead.testnet. I hit allow and we should see my name appear in the nav bar. Cool. <laughs> uh, very classic. So let's keep moving forward. Let's go to app.js and begin to continue building this out. So let's see how we get that Twitch embed to work. Uh, I think they have some dummy code somewhere. Here you are. Can just like throw it in directly or do I have to have it as a secondary function? Let's take home page and go back to our app.js file and actually call that. Call home page here. So home page. And we're gonna import home page right here from Twitch embed is not defined. One error means progress, so I, I love. <laughs> I always tell myself I love new errors. It just means more progress. So let's type in Twitch embed and get this out of the way. So from React Twitch embed. Okay, so there's Moonstar. Let's change that channel to Insomniac. I can't dance, but I can feel the music. <laughs> oh, I love the little single point he's doing. Can you see my little, my little bubble? I can't, I can't point like that. Let's keep the, let's keep the train moving. Your skincare routine? Oh my sucks. God. My skincare apparently sucks. Perfect. So now we have a row. We have our chat room kind of like slightly compressed underneath. We have a place where our R is gonna appear. Hold on, you know what? I'm gonna hop off for a minute and like find like a pretty swanky, pretty swanky like background for this application. Make it look a little bit prettier. Okay, everyone, I have a pretty cool background thing going. I use the API from Pexels to just get these free images. Every time you refresh the page, you get like this like new image. I got the uh, Twitch stream to be to work, so we have like a cool DJ, like cool like music, um, like video going. Just like a filler spot for now, so I can get some actual users going, uh, as well as this awesome table, which I'm going to reformat. This is just the template from React Bootstrap. So we're on a good start here. I'm pretty happy with this going. I say just keep this going and see where this ends up. I can't feel what this guy's pulling out. I mean, you can't hear it, but it's good. Essentially what's gonna happen is like any artist that's gonna be featured in this Twitch stream will have their account like right here on display. Down here is where you're gonna have like featured songs. So you have, you know, of course the numbering for each song, the title of their uh, track. So this one's Paw Props by DJ Blockbopper 3000, AKA Sam the dog. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's kind of where I am so far. So I still have to implement the listens feature. I still have to actually find a way to save music onto IPFS. Uh, more on that shortly. What's up, ladies and germs? My name is Chad Lamont. I've been producing music for seven years and I reside in the beautiful central coast of California in a town called San Luis Obispo, baby. Let's get into it. So I was like 10, 12 years old playing the acoustic drum kit while looking at a screen 
of whatever song was playing on Guitar Hero World Tour, and then I would translate the hi-hat, the snare, the kick, your two toms, and the crash. So that's basically how I started, but most of all, what I'm going for is to give you a, a certain vibe. When I was eight years old, I got the one gigabyte iPod Nano that had been out for a while, and I got it from one of my best friends for about 80 or $100, and Kanye West late registration album was in there. Uh, <laughs> the magical question, why do I make music? Well, I mean, for, for me, it's therapeutic for me, like riding a motorcycle, like going for a run, being out in nature. There's something therapeutic about creating a song or just making a beat. Um, the process, I really enjoy it. I have fun with the process. Dude, I mean, for me, NFTs and the blockchain, what that means for musicians is is literally you can get 10 to 20% royalties for life. I don't know a whole lot about um, the blockchain and like NFTs, but I understand how it works and I'm super excited to be able to play with this application and just upload some of my tunes and, and kind of play around. So let's try it out. All right, what is up, people? We are here at Blockbop. I am so stoked. Okay, so it looks like we can just log in here. And you will be creating a testnet account. Cool. Ooh. Oh, nice. I'm right here. That's so sick. Oh, wait, there's a live stream, too? So you can add in your own um, Twitch stream. Oh, nice. And anyone could just subscribe or follow you. So say if you wanted to tip an artist, tip them five near. You're a big baller. Oh, I tipped them out. It feels so good giving tips. So how about we upload a track? Let's go to my bops. I have uploaded a song that I did with one of my friends called Numero Uno. You can literally just drag and drop files here. There we go. Okay, reload the page. Let's reload it. Hey, there it is. There it is. We got all in. Plays back perfectly. And numero uno. Okay. You can buy listens too. About 10 near. Ooh, purchase confirmed. Let's go. Okay, I have 120 listens here. It should go up if I refresh it. Yoo-hoo! Ooh, you can even download their track from up here. That's really cool. Alrighty, everyone. So it looks like that is about it. Um, lots of cool features. A really big one for me is being able to download music and being able to tip artists. That is awesome. I love being able to freely download music that I want to download and not have to go through any bull crap or subscriptions to get there. I really appreciate that this is made on the blockchain and I'm excited to see where this goes. So that is enough for me here. I will let Dorian take it away and everyone have a great rest of your day. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Blockheads. You can check out the application in the description. Like, subscribe, and keep making beautiful music, people. I'll catch you guys later. I can't dance, but I can feel the music.